Hi there everybody, Peter of England bringing you another short video uh, updating those who've joined We Are Bank and who are obviously therefore members of ReMovement uh, on some of the spurious allegations and remarks that are being made concerning the checks that you are issuing and sending to various companies. Uh, in some instances what's happening is the payee is supposedly returning the checks to you and saying that they are unable to process them. Uh, in other instances, what we are having is the banks, like HSBC, Barclays, NatWest, Santander, Co-op, Bradford and Bingley, Lloyds, TSB, you name them, you know who they are. They're getting in touch with you and making reports that the checks can't be cleared because of we are banks, sort code not being recognised, that it not being a recognised UK bank within the UK clearing, and you know the stories that are being uh, circulated. And what, and what is happening in many instances is these banks aren't even presenting the checks to us for clearing, they're just trying to freeze us out of the fray. Now, the very important fact to you, for you to remember as far as your arguments are concerned with these, a check can be written on anything. It can be written on a football, it can be written on a balloon, it can be written on a breakfast cereal packet. As long as the main ingredients are there, the four major points so that they can recognize who, i.e. the bank that it's presented to, or the pay can recognize who to present it to for clearing. Now, if these checks were therefore drawn on a UK clearing system, acknowledged by the banking cartel, there wouldn't be a problem. Now, because we are refusing and stipulating that we don't want to be part of their, uh, their infamy and their nefarious practices of funding wars, uh, funding uh, weaponry, um, money laundering, which HSBC were recently involved in, rigging the LIBOR markets like Barclays, and all the other um, campaigns that through history that the main banks have actually done, asking yourself the question, who funds the wars, who funds the weapons, who funds the money laundering, who funds the sponsors, the terrorist organizations, where do they get their money from? They're being paid through and for and by banks, not by us. So when these organizations are coming through, I want you to be very, very specific here. You have got to put a, a, a rod of steel into your spine and remember that these people who are telling you, you can't do this, what they're actually defending. They're defending a system that relies on war, treachery, trickery, deceit, and financial robbery, and they couldn't tell the truth if their lives depended on it, which they very well do right now, and this is the type of thing that you're up against. So when they come along and say they won't, they won't process, you have to be very insistent. They can process the check without a sort code on it even. For example, if they say the sort code isn't recognized by UK clearing, well, what about a check coming in from a bank in Lisbon or Portugal or a bank in Zimbabwe or a bank in, let's say, Argentina or Bolivia? Yeah, the funds in that bank, that's a recognized bank in that country. What are they saying? They can't process it? No, of course not. What they do is advice of a special presentation check. They attach it to that advice, they submit it to us, and we present it then to them. We send the funds to them. Now, remember, if they refuse to ask us for the money, if they refuse to present, as the Allange says, they're in violation of sections 42 and 43 of the Bills of Exchange Act 1882, therefore you are home and clear. If they say that the check has gone missing, you are home and clear. Also, let's look at the analogy that they decide to take you to court. We turn up in court as your representative bankers. Let's now for say the argument for the check being written is around about, let's say, as an average £1,500. What do you think would happen if we end up in court, them saying that you were not able to pay when you made the check because there were no funds available, and we turn up in court with a bag of money? 1,500 in cash ready to present. Vexatious litigation and a perversion of the cause of justice lies very, very firmly at the foot of the bank. Yeah? Because unless they ask, 
then they don't know. And unless they ask, we can't actually honour your presentment. So that's a very important point. So on all this spurious allegations about the cheque can't be processed, the sort code's not recognised, it's fraudulent, but then they come back and change their mind and say, well, we don't know why. Look at the elements of fraud. It could only be fraud if we were passing it off as something else. If we were copying, say, the cheque of a trust, or if we were copying the cheque of another organisation and trying to hoodwink you into believing and also hoodwinking them into believing that it was something that it's not. So there is no misrepresentation, there is no uh, false inducement, there is no fraud at all. So please be aware of that, that all these elements are spurious, put them on the line, ask them for proof, ask them to put in writing what they maintain is their truth and we will defend that to the last man. Thank you, Peter of England, signing off.